Welcome back to another episode of Bush and Country Living. Um, if you remember previously, I showed you how to um, re-season a cast iron pan. Today I'm using it. I have the fire on extremely low. It's been sitting here for approximately a minute. And now I'm just going to put the bacon in the, the pan. Because you want to, after you season it, you're going to want to cook a fatty thing. So bacon is always my go-to for this. And it just helps to season the pan even more and makes it even even better for using it. And so I'm just gonna fry these up and then I'm gonna show you what the pan will look like when it's done. And then I'm gonna show you also what to do with the bacon grease when you're finished. The bacon is done cooking. And now I'm going to show you what to do with the grease. So one of the things we do with our bacon grease is I'm just going to scoop some from here and put it in here because we're going to be frying eggs. Okay, so this is the pan that I cooked my bacon in and everybody is now done eating. So I have some here that we have from before and everybody just poured the bacon grease in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into here and we're gonna melt it down. And then when it's all melted down, I'm gonna pour it back into here. Okay, so everything is melted, so I'm going to turn the stove off. Now I'm going to put everything into this jar. So what I'm going to try to do, I don't know if I'll be successful. Um, I'm kind of worried about pouring it, even though I have these spouts, but I am going to try. If not, I am going to spoon it in. Oh, it's working. Yay! That's all I'm going to put in there because all that's left in here is like little tiny bacon bits. And then I'm just going to fill the rest of this up with water. And when I come back, I'm going to show you why I put water in there. I put the lid on. Okay. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator upside down. And I'm going to flip it and I'm going to shake it a little bit to make sure all the bits fall to the lid. And... Throughout today, um, it'll fall, and you'll see what we have when I come back. Okay, so I have the bacon grease, and it's upside down. You can still see that there's a little bit of crumbs in there. You can keep redoing this until you get it all the way clean. But me, I don't have to. I go through this pretty quickly. So I'm going to take the lid off and then I'll show you. Okay, so the reason why you put it upside down in your refrigerator is the grease will float and the water will be at the bottom. And then when we come back, the water will be on top because we had it upside down. So at this point, you're just going to, you can pour this right down your drain. It's the only water with all the little pieces of bacon. And I'm going to turn my water on. And I'm going to give it a little rinse on the top here. And for me, that's okay. I go through bacon grease a lot. I use it to cook eggs. I use it to fry up green beans. Almost everything that I just like saute up, I use bacon grease. So there you have it. I could redo it and get more of it away. I might just scrape that off. But there you have it. That's how you clean your bacon grease. And it'll be good. I don't know how long we go through it too quick. We'll be good for a while. All right, thanks for watching. And as always, keep pushing.